Now we'll show how to get into the um, services page that will, that will track how um, to change any of the pre-filter times or the main HEPA filter if, you, if those have been replaced, as well as a, a more of a service configuration screen. So same step uh, to begin with by pressing the Logic Group logo at the top, you press 999 again, you hit enter, it takes you to this screen. From there, you'll hit the Logic Group logo one more time. It will take you to another pin page where you press 1111, there's four ones there, hit enter, it takes you to this page. If the main HEPA filter or the pre-filters, which are every six months, the, the pre-filters, um, if those have been replaced, you would hit reset pre-filter. If the main HEPA filter has been replaced, you would hit reset HEPA filter. From here, you can get into the configuration page. Here is where you will see a lot of basically setup type tasks that would be required at one time, and then you can um, move forward from there. Things such as the purge kit, if it's running a dual cabinet, the pa if it's a pass-through cabinet, hangers, so 6, 10, 16, or 20, um, how the cabinet is set up as far as the first number on the right cabinet being either 1 or 21 or however the dual cabinet would be set up, the remaining time on the filters and the time zone in which you're in as well as the serial number for the cabinet. So hit save if you make any changes there. The remaining two tabs is a sensors tab, nothing important uh, for the time being there, and then the last tab is another log tab which can be downloaded uh, using a USB thumb drive.